Hello class, how you doing? In today's lesson, we're going to be going over what to do before you start to the velocity to the banco, okay? What to do before you start velocity banking because we don't want to be trying to borrow from Peter to pay Paul, okay? We don't want to be making vital mistakes, okay? We want to avoid mistakes paying extra in interest, okay? Because here's the thing about velocity banking, if you don't do it right, you're literally gonna be paying interest in two locations, okay? And then you're gonna say, this concept doesn't work for me, da 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 da, my credit score is not good, my this is not that, my that's not this, okay? I wanna avoid all that. So I created this video hopefully give you step by step on preparing yourself really that's what we're talking about is preparing yourself before we get into the concept before we actually start applying it making sure we understand the concept fully we've complete we got this whole plan laid out together okay so very first thing okay is your four major numbers income expenses debt cash flow you must know these numbers back of your head okay you must know these I don't want you giving me an assumption when you fill out my form I don't want you giving me uh, excuses or you know um, you know I'll give you the rest when we talk because you know the truth is I'm not gonna talk to you right if you're gonna fill out my form fill it out completely right don't give me uh, little notes like oh this and this and that and that I appreciate what I really do appreciate is someone that fills out a form completely and then in the comments maybe they give a, a testimony I love that stuff you know you, you you let me know any particular situations that I should be aware of that I should be wary of you know any things any particular like a vacation coming up and you know how you would work with that I appreciate that what I don't appreciate is when you don't fill out all my boxes okay it's not no sign up, put your name, email, and phone number in. Okay, that's not the type of form that you're filling out. Trust me, it's going to take some time, you know, to really fill that out and get it down packed. So get these numbers right on your debts. You must know the timeline, the interest that you're paying right now, the amortization schedules on all of them, the monthly minimum payments, everything, everything know it all cash flow is huge okay in velocity banking you must have cash flow to start velocity banking how much I have a safe number okay which is 500 or more that's my safe number but in reality you can start velocity banking with as little as 50 to 100 bucks you can start you're not gonna get a lot of traction Okay, but you can start, okay, and it can build to something much bigger, a lot faster over time. Either way, you're going to get done a lot faster than every other method that's out there, period. Okay, it's simple mathematics, okay. Now, for my people that have filled out forms and the cash flow is 500 and under, okay, uh, when we talk, especially if you signed up, like tier two, tier three, tier one, you know, we jump on the Q&A. We're going to be going over these things right here, okay, which is shifting your way of thinking when it comes to your money, all right, is the whole concept of redirecting money, redirecting cash flow, okay, filling out your W-4 properly. Now, I don't want to give the wrong information on this because I'm not that educated on how to fill out a W-4 properly. I can only just give you what I've done and what I've shared with people for myself when I was working at a job. I'm no longer working at a job, so I'm not filling out a W-4 anymore. But for people who are working, the idea behind filling out your W-4 properly is you don't want to owe the IRS any tax at the end of the year, and you don't want the IRS to owe you any money at the end of the year, meaning your tax refund that you're 
hoping to get. If you get one of those, that is an indication that you overpaid on taxes, okay? Over 80% of Americans overpay on taxes, which is why the rich get richer and the poor stay poor and the middle class become poor and only few become rich. Very simple, it's mathematics, okay? It's not, a, it's not any politician, it's not Republican or Democrat, it's none of that, it's mathematics. It's economics 101. If you minimize your tax withholdings, if you minimize your expenses, if you eliminate your debts, cash flow increases. When cash flow increases, oh yeah, you have options to do what? Invest, start a business, help people, be a blessing, right? Establish kingdom authority here on earth. Oh, huh. okay. Checking account promotions. This is really cool. This is a simple little tweak, right? Wherever you're currently banking at right now, are they paying you? No? Okay, switch. Go to a different uh, bank, set up direct deposit. With that, you just type in Google 2018 checking account promotions, okay? Bank of America, TD Bank, Chase, Citi, all of them are gonna have checking account promotions. Even the credit unions are gonna have checking account promotions. Hundred dollars, 150, 250, 200. So one time, all you gotta do is deposit, do direct deposit of your paycheck into that new checking account and you'll get free money, okay? That'll give you a boost. Maybe you can use that to buy tier three or tier two. Maybe you can use that to uh, start stacking the cash flow, get you prepared for velocity banking. Okay, very little tweak. Okay, here's where a bulk of money is being uh, exited out of your income. Okay, which is cut off contributions to your retirement. What are you doing? What are you retiring from? Who told you to retire? In what world does that make sense? Please tell me. If, think about it, the, the, the word retirement, there's no Hebrew definition for it, okay? Retirement is a deadly thing, okay? You, your body, your human nature, mankind, okay? We have been designed to work, all right? Now, it's a different story if you want to make a transition from where you're at to where you want to be, okay? But to just simply say, Denzel, I want to tire and hang my coat up and do what? Pay bills and die? Come on, man. Retire at 59, 65. What is your thinking? What are you, th what are you gonna do for the last 30 years of your life? Yell at the wall? watch TV and complain about Republicans and Democrats and complain about tax? Come on, come on. You need to be focusing on your kingdom authority here on earth, kingdom principles, establishing a legacy that will outlive your entire generation and the next generation, okay? Think of Martin Luther King, think of Nelson Mandela, right? Think of Rosa Parks. These are names that will never die. Ideas that will never die. Dreams, visions that will never die. Are you creating those things? Okay. Retirement kills that. Okay. So stop it. Okay. Cut off contributions to retirement. The reason why I say that only applies, hear me out, this only applies to people who are in massive amount of debt and don't have any cash flow. Why are you paying somebody else to make money for you? That doesn't make any sense. What did Warren Buffett say? Rule number one, invest in yourself. And what was the other one? Rule number two, don't lose money. Don't forget rule number one, don't lose money. Something like that. Then he's got another one where it's like, if you're gonna invest in anything, 
right? First, invest in yourself, but then the next investment should be in something that you know. Something that you know. Why are you giving your money to Bozo? To the Bozo, right? You're paying through your teeth. I don't care if it's 1%. Remember, I did the video. Check it out, the 1% myth, all right? Think about this. Your money being contributed into any retirement qualified plan, if it's at 1% fees, which it is not, I'm pretty sure it's much higher, but let's just say it's 1%. Every single year, your cost doubles, doubles off 1% because of amortized, because of compound, right? So that's one thing. The next thing, cut off saving, okay? Saving doesn't work anymore the value of the dollar decreases every single day after 1973 when mr richard nixon removed gold from the dollar okay if you don't know this this is powerful this is going to change your perspective on money money is a fiat currency it has no value okay gold does not back up the dollar anymore which is why we are 20 20 20 plus tr trillion dollars in the debt, okay? Just one country, all right? Debt is a weapon. It's either used properly or improperly, okay? Your money is debt, got it? So it's time that we multiply uh, the money uh, so that we can have a financial freedom, okay? So cut off saving, it doesn't work, all right? Whether you're saving in a savings account, all right, again, this only applies to my people that are in debt to. If you're doing well financially, guess what? We have options, bro. You can save money in gold, in stocks, in crypto. You can put money in an asset, in a life insurance policy, in some real estate, in a business. Okay, we've got options. Okay, same thing. If we are in a better financial position, cash flow is rocking, debt is eliminated. Now you're just leveraging debt. Now we can look at the retirement. But in this case, we're talking about wealth creation, legacy creation, where no matter what, whether you got up Monday through Friday to work, your money will still make money. Okay, that's the whole idea there. That's cool. I think that's where people mix up the retirement theory that you're gonna to get to live that life where no matter what, my money makes money. It will never do that in a retirement account because you're liquidating it. You're liquidating it. You wanna have something that will no matter what continue to produce even when you extract money from it. It'll still, it'll make more than what you extract and it'll never lose value. See, retirement accounts are meant to be liquidated. Go all the way to zero for the rest of your remaining years here on earth. Not smart, okay? Last but not least, you need to go into conservation mode, okay? And here's where I'm gonna come over here, all right? Conservation mode, like Uncle G says, right? You gotta go into conservation mode. You gotta stay broke, okay? Stay broke. Why are you keeping up with the Joneses? What are you doing? No. That doesn't work, man. So, you know, listen to a guy like Grant Cardone. Listen to a guy like Tony Robbins and Gary Vaynerchuk. Look how they dress. They're not impressing anyone, right? Now, they have so much money. They got dumb money. It's just dumb. It's just so much that they have to buy all that crap so that they can minimize on taxes even further, right? But I can promise you a guy like Tony Robbins... Grant Cardone, Gary Vaynerchuk, John Maxwell, uh, who, 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 who's the other one? Robert Kiyosaki. They did not start out buying lavish things, going into immense amount of debt. No, they were driving Toyota Camrys. They were driving beat up cars and just staying at that and stacking cash because they know. They know. Okay. Listen, I got a key word for you. Repent, okay? When you're in conservation mode, when you're in this mode right here before starting velocity banking, repent. It's 
not a religious word for my religious people. Get out of here with that way of thinking. I'm not talking religion. Okay, if you don't like that word, it means change. Change your way of thinking. Did you know that the average American spends nearly $900 a month on subscriptions? Subscriptions. Yeah. That's phone bill, cable, internet, um, you know, the Netflix, the Hulu, the Amazon, the Audible, the Dropbox, the iTunes, the Spotify, the Pandora. You don't need that. Temporarily, you can do without. Imagine, imagine going without cable for one year. What's the average cable bill? Like $250? At least $200 in every state. At least. If it's lower, it's because you're like military, you got some kind of deal in your HOA or in your community. But for everyone else, especially in major cities, $200 plus, $250, three. 300 times 12, that's $3,600 cash flow. Do you need cable? You need Wi Fi. I will agree with you. Wi-Fi has become a need because we're in this digital world. Like, I, I think in order to learn anything now and fast, internet, man, need that. Cable, you don't need cable. Cable's garbage. It's, it's not teaching you anything. It's actually wasting your time, killing you slowly. Okay? Redirect that money back to your cash flow. That's all I'm saying. Can you go without Pandora? For a year and Spotify and and Hulu and the Netflix and the net and the uh, Pandora all, all that I'm saying it all over again because there's so many right Amazon audible all that now after we've done this okay let's say we've got this down okay and we're and we're cash flowing 500 plus or more maybe a thousand okay now we we got to keep grinding our mindset right we got to learn some kingdom principles okay again i'm not i'm not i'm not hitting religion i'm hitting principles truth okay you don't like that word look learn earn return put that into your mindset learn earn and return i got that from a wonderful company called renatus okay and they're a real estate investment company a uh, real estate educational company sorry Learn, earn, return. That's what they live by. I live by a fantasy league, okay? Where I get my information from, okay? Fantasy league. Denzel Washington, Grant Cardone, Tony Robbins, Gary Vaynerchuk, Miles Monroe, okay? John Maxwell, Robert Kiyosaki, right? Try to keep your fantasy league minimal, you know, where you can count them on your hand. Don't go too broad because you get if you try to get information from Grant and then you try to get information from Dave Ramsey and then Susie Orman, you're going to be like, uh, I don't know what to do because I'm lost. OK, let's not do that. So let's say we've accomplished that. Cool. We got that down. Now we need to learn how money works. OK, currently, this is how money works for most Americans. You get a paycheck which then goes into the checking account and then pays the bills, right? It pays other bills. Once it pays other bills, you have money left over, okay? Some of you, most people don't. 80% or more, paycheck to paycheck. So sometimes this number is zero, meaning no money left over, or sometimes there is some money left over, but where does it go? You try to save it, you try to invest it, and you spend it, right? Because you're so fed up living paycheck to paycheck that you want to just order a pizza, right? And you want to just order Chinese food or you want to go to the mall and run that Macy's card up and you're paying 26% on that Macy's credit card when you could have just went to an outlet, paid half for what you you know, spent on, or you could have went thrifting and got the same exact clothes or you could have went online and paid even less 
Just saying, bro. So, you got to get out of that, right? You got to get out of this mindset about how money works for you and start getting with how money works for the wealthy, for the rich, for the wise, for the saved, okay? Velocity banking, okay? The idea of using other people's money or debt or an asset to acquire more assets to pay expenses and that expenses that you're no longer paying and the assets that the cash flow produced pays you back, which pays back the debt. Okay, I know I went a little fast, but I'm gonna explain it. Ready? I make income, okay? Everybody that makes income, however you make it, it goes into an account. Let's just call it a checking account, okay? Goes into the checking account, all right? Before you do this, use your cash to pay bills, we acquire our debt weapon. What are debt weapons? Class, unsecured line of credit, personal line of credit, business line of credit, HELOC, credit cards, an asset, a life insurance policy. Cool? That's our debt weapon. All right? All calculated simple interest. Okay, very important. Simple interest, right? Here's what we do. Whatever debt weapon we have, you're going to do this. Link the account. You're going to link the checking account to the debt weapon, okay? Debt weapon is linked to the checking account. Here's what we do. Whatever amount on that line of credit is, okay, we are going to strategically make what's called chunking, a chunk, a big chunk amount of money to acquire the property right cash buyers right my wholesalers out there in the world get it cool right for everyone else chunking at a specific amortized debt or bad debt okay and right then and there in that very moment we are using other people's money we're using the bank's money other people's money okay which is going to pay off our bad debts okay when i pay off that bad debt I just created a new debt for whatever I paid off, right? The new debt's right there. But see, the difference is the interest that I pay and how it is calculated. Got it? Now, as soon as I pay off that debt, the monthly payment that I was making becomes what? Becomes cash flow, which then goes into the checking account plus the money that I made throughout the month by weekly, weekly, however it is you get paid, right? And before you pay the other bills that you have, all this cash, guess where it goes? It's linked. So you're gonna make a transfer, a chunk transfer of your entire income into the debt weapon, okay? The next thing you're going to do is withdraw whatever you need on a daily or a weekly basis to pay your bills, okay? We used the debt originally to pay off one specific debt at a time to wipe it out or maybe multiple at a time all depends on this, right? Income, expense, debt, cash flow, right? Whatever cash flow gain I got from no longer paying those bills, it's gonna flow here to the checking account. That money's gonna get dumped into the debt weapon. Why do we do that? Because you just created a debt there. If you don't pay that, guess what? You're paying debts in two locations, hence, you borrow, you borrow from Peter to pay Paul. To avoid that, by using this money one time to put it here, right, which satisfies the payment on that debt weapon, which also cuts off interest costs from accruing, to then use the same money again to do what? 
pay the bills and live in the process of doing velocity banking oh my god so much money is saved ready i'm saving money by doing velocity banking i'm becoming debt free creating increased cash flow which is satisfying the goals of becoming debt free and financially free and not have to worry okay gets me out of conservation mode after some time okay so by doing velocity banking i'm able to save invest and spend all at the same time with the same dollars that is why we do what we do here on this channel because like i said the money the money has no value so to try to split up the money even more after it has no value makes it even worse where you actually lose money by saving you lose money by investing poorly right because you don't know what you're doing most people do not know what they're doing that is the truth that's the truth hence 80 percent of americans living paycheck to paycheck because we don't know what we're doing with our money which is why it's my passion to release this education onto you so that you may prosper that you may live a generous life and be a bless a blessing and a cheerful giver because you understand kingdom principles right which is the concept of giving and receiving having authority educating yourself increasing information so that you don't perish in this world from this my name is denzel have yourself a wonderful day god bless